They're here. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Wave 3 Avengers Endgame Bro Thor build a figure. If you're trying to pick up this set, you can do so at Megalopolis, City, City of Collectibles, collectibles. where you can pick up your Marvel Legends and all kinds of other action figures. They have their daily deals and an awesome rewards points program. So check them out. Link in the description below. Yeah, what do you guys think of the bath art, huh? Yeah, not the very best bath art. But anyway, uh, the heads over here, those came with the War Machine, or I mean the Iron Patriot Mark II figure. Uh, the right arm and Stormbreaker came with Captain America. Uh, the left arm came with the Mark 85 Iron Man. The torso came with Vision. Uh, the right leg came with Valkyrie, and the left leg came with Heimdall. All right, let's get to it and transform and build this thing where he takes away Bumblebee. We're not actually transforming, we're just building. But anyway, uh, I'm just gonna go like that. And let's take the extra hand and put that aside. And I'm gonna put this on with the sunglasses head. So I'm gonna put that other head aside right there and start with getting the right leg on here. It snaps pretty easily. And then get the left leg on here and you can snap that on there. And then we get the left arm. Yeah, clicks right in. And then the right arm. Yeah, that clicks right in too. Give him the sunglasses head right here. Try to get the hair over the whole hoodie. Then we'll give him Stormbreaker right over here. And now we have Thor all built and not looking too bad. Now, I gotta say right off the bat, I would have preferred an armored Thor like we'd seen at the end of Endgame, but there is still something very charming about this figure. I don't know, I still like what I'm seeing over here. And we also get a few accessories with this figure as well. So let's get a closer look at those and then we'll take a closer look at Bro Thor. You know, I don't really mention it enough, but I really do appreciate it when Hasbro gives us build a figures that have their own accessories like this. I don't know, just adds a bit to it. So you get an interchangeable left hand right over here. We'll take a closer look at the regular hand, but yeah, this is the time heist hand. Nice clean paint apps right there. So that's very cool. Uh, we also get an updated Stormbreaker, which I like. Uh, however, I do not like the choice right here for the actual axe. I mean, this plastic is just really thin looking. I don't know. It's got this really light gray color to it. You can see some silver blood over right over here, which I don't think it's supposed to look like that. I mean, when I think of Stormbreaker, I don't think of, you know, all this weird silver over uh, the Groot part of it. And then they did sculpt it more correctly on the handle right here. So you get this nice looking wood grain without the vines going around it as was not seen in Avengers Endgame or in Infinity War for that matter but yeah comparing the Stormbreaker uh, to the last Thor figure Stormbreaker I do like how the gunmetal gray looks right here on this one a little bit more so I don't know there's just something about this one that just looks a little bit too thin and transparent to me and yeah you can see this one has all the vines and stuff and this holds in his hand pretty well if you have uh, the Infinity War Thor if you want to just go ahead and swap it out and you know give it to this figure right here he'll hold it okay it's a little bit loose in his hand but he can hold it and then looking at these two head sculpts, the Big Lebowski head sculpt for our Big Lebowski Thor. I think this is great, man. Now you have the sunglasses right here and uh, just a little tilted right there, but not a big deal. I like how the hair came out, nice detail. So I like that, paint looks really good. My only gripe about the hair is this seam. That bothers me, it's like that on both head sculpts. I like how you get the scar coming down his face. The beard looks pretty good. Then we also get this one right here, which I also really like a lot. I actually prefer this one out of the two. Uh, but the hair is the same, it even has that stupid seam coming around right here. I wonder if they could like figure out a way to get the seam to run with the hairline, you know, to make it a little bit more hidden. But yeah, you can see the hair looks pretty good. It looks like he has a spider in his hair. But yeah, not looking too bad, and it's very soft material. We'll get into that articulation in a little bit. I uh, wanted to see uh, how this looked on our Infinity War Thor figure, and it doesn't look too bad. It's just, ah, it, you know, he doesn't have the gut. He needs the gut, but it still looks pretty cool. Uh, but, you know, this is still not really the right head sculpt because he had braids and stuff, and I believe the beard was even braided and everything, so it got as guardianed up, I guess. And then putting the head sculpt on one of the Quantum Suit figures or a Time Heist figure. Uh, that actually doesn't look too bad. It's just, you know, it's missing the gut. So if you want to play around with this and do some head swaps, it's not too bad. You know, it's just not exactly right. And I also want to get an ultra tight zoom in here on the eyes. I think they did a really good job on getting the eye colors different. So that's really cool. And then seeing this head sculpt on the figure, it just looks fantastic. Now, again, I do wish that we had, uh, you know, the armored version of Bro Thor at the end of the movie, but you know, this is still really cool. It's a fun novelty figure, I guess, you know, and I 
like the wrinkles sculpted in right over here. That's very cool. And I want to mention a pet peeve of mine that has nothing to do with action figure collecting, but like, am I the only one out there who kind of gets like frustrated when other people show up to the movie theater dressed like this, when they got their pajama pants on and a robe and everything, like they're at home and stuff? I know it's a nothing qualm to have, you know, there's other things in life to worry about than that, but you know, I don't know. It's just a thing. I just want to know if I'm not the only one. But anyway, looking at the hands right here, you know, I really like the sculpted lines right there. So it gives you an idea of that like thick uh, fabric that you know he has for his fingerless gloves. And then you can see the band right over here for the bathrobe kind of just falling over. So that's good. You got the pocket sculpted right over here. It's all wrinkly. Same thing with this pocket over here. And then looking at the pajama pants, they look great. You know, a little bit of uh, there's like these weird little patterns right over here. I don't know if it, I don't think it's supposed to be perfectly straight, but it looks you know. Kind of weird, almost like sound waves. But yeah, nice look overall. I do like the wrinkles. And you got the Crocs right over here with treads at the bottom. And looking at the sides of the Crocs, that's kind of funny looking to me. I don't know, I just think Crocs crack me up a little bit. And you can see the flesh tone of the fat ankles right there. And then if you wanted to take this whole thing off, you could. And that looks weird as hell. That doesn't look right at all. But, you know, I just want to show it off so you can see it. You know, the little stringies right over here for his Ben Riley hoodie. I don't know, kind of reminds me of Ben Riley's hoodie. But it's worth noting, too, that this, like, lower sweatshirt part is kind of shifting around you know you have the belly as a separate piece and then this exterior clothing piece kind of moves around a little bit so I don't know I just found that a little interesting now to go over the articulation of this figure you can move the head up quite a bit I love how soft this plastic is so you can do that that is very cool and you get that disc hinge right in there in the neck which looks a little choppy but hey it functions uh, you can move the head downward it does shift forward and back like a bow driver you can turn the head side to side and you do get some head pivoting right over here shoulders move up and outward that much. You can move them down pretty far. They rotate a full 360. You get a bicep swivel in there. Double jointed elbows that bend in that far. Uh, all three of the hands turn side to side and have a horizontal wrist motion. None of them move up and down. You get a diaphragm joint right over here that could turn side to side. Yeah, you get some diaphragm pivot. And he does not crunch forward, but he does crunch back. Hips move outward pretty far. And you can get him kicking forward that much. And back. He kind of runs. Of course, he does run into the robe. You get an upper thigh cut right Right there single jointed knee and then rotation at the knee then the ankles can rotate side to side you can move them down a little bit and up just a little bit and he does have beautiful ankle pivot now to measure out the Brothor build a figure you can see that he is standing just a little under seven inches tall and then for your Thor figure comparison we have our Thor Ragnarok version and then you can see him go into this version right here that we saw at the end of Thor Ragnarok the beginning of Infinity War uh, here's our closing of Infinity War version slash beginning of Endgame version and then here's our Brothor Thor. And one thing that does upset me about this figure is that he is so short. He should not be any shorter. Just because he's gained some weight doesn't mean that he should be so short. Unless those boots like really give him some hype. But really, he should be taller. And then here's Bro Thor next to a couple other notable Avengers Endgame figures. We have the Build-A-Figure Hulk. We have Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. We need an Endgame version of Rocket, by the way. And then we have the Walmart exclusive Endgame worthy cap. And yeah, you can see that cap. This figure is a little on the short side, but yeah, he shouldn't be that much shorter but he really should be even more shorter than this Thor figure I don't know yeah just should have been taller and then here's bro Thor next to the wave one Avengers endgame armored Thanos build a figure and I really hope one day Hasbro includes a different left arm for this Thanos figure with a different figure or something like that just so we could have one where he doesn't have the infinity gauntlet you know so we get a proper endgame display and here's bro Thor next to the other figures from this wave we have the phasing vision Valkyrie Heimdall Captain America Mark 85 Iron Man and Mark 2 Iron Patriot it. And I do think this Thor is just too short. I mean, yeah, especially looking at him next to Cap right over there and the Iron Man, it's, yeah, he should be a lot taller. Now, uh, as far as ranking these figures, for me, it was tricky to do. I hope you guys share your ranking. Every ranking I read, I'm going to click a heart on your comment. So, yeah, uh, leave your ranking. I'm curious to know what it is. Okay, at the very bottom, I am giving it to the Phasing Vision right over here. Yeah, Phasing Vision is the one that you need the least, especially if you have the two-pack with Scarlet Witch already. You don't need this one right over there, but I still think it's cool. I actually like this whole wave. It's actually pretty uh, difficult lined up to set up over here. Anyway, at number six, I'm giving it to the Captain America. It's a you know redone figure, but it does look a whole lot better. We get the new head sculpt and everything, new shield. So I do like it, and I already have the other one, so it was great posing the two of them together. At number five, I'm giving it to the Bro Thor. Uh, you know, just because I do wish that we had the armored version that we saw at the final scene of Endgame more so than this one, but this is still a whole bunch 
bunch of fun and everything. And I also have my gripes about him being too short and whatnot. Anyway, at number four, I'm giving it to Heimdall. I think Heimdall is cool. I really wish that we'd gotten the armored version of Heimdall as well, but I still really like this figure quite a bit. At number three, I'm giving it to the Iron Patriot. I would have put Iron Patriot a bit higher on the ranking if the color blue here was just a little bit darker and more reminiscent to the Iron Patriot Mark I blue color. I love this color blue though, don't get me wrong, this is actually my favorite color blue. You guys may know that my favorite color is blue. And then, at the number two spot, I'm giving it to Valkyrie. I've been wanting this version of Valkyrie for quite some time and I just think it looks absolutely spectacular. Very happy with it. And then the number one goes to the Mark 85 Iron Man. They just crushed it with that figure. He's full of accessories, man. I love the articulation on it. I remember my biggest complaint being that they just didn't add the blue right over here to the arc reactor. And other than that, I absolutely love that figure. I want to know what your guys' ranking is, so again, I'll leave a heart if I read your ranking and uh, let me know in the comment section. And then here's the Bro Thor build a figure next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends big time badass Spider Man. Oh, I'm so happy for you. So, how far along are we, huh? Huh? How many months are we in now? This little one right here, huh, miss? Huh? So go lose some weight, Thor. Get out of here. <laughs> Melted ice cream is not badass. So this is obviously not my favorite figure from the wave, and what a good wave it was. I really thought this was a pretty sweet wave, but just not my favorite figure from this set, and I do wish that we'd gotten the other version or the other design uh, from the end of the movie, but it's up to you, you know what I mean? Uh, I can't really fault it too much for that. It depends on what you like, you know what I mean? And I just prefer the other design, so you may like this more, but hey, anyway, I still think it's a good figure. I didn't put it very low on my list. I still had a lot of fun with it. I have him holding the Endgame-worthy Caps Mjolnir right now, which is technically still Thor's Mjolnir, but yeah, I don't know. I had a lot of fun taking pictures, so not a bad figure. And I'm gonna give this figure a sud rating of... It's not so bad. And I'd like to know what you guys think, especially your ranking of this wave, so please, again, let me know and I'll leave a heart. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and make sure you hit that notification bell. And a big thanks to all these people over here that support this YouTube channel over on Patreon. Just posted a new video yesterday, so check that out if you haven't already. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news, be sure to check out MarvelousNews.com and don't forget to follow me over on the social media on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.